uh, has to end its corruption and the dishonesty. I think. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy speaking April 19, 1968, less than two months before his own assassination. It was exactly two weeks after uh, Dr. King's assassination. Uh, before we go on to the United Farm Workers and his stance uh, with the farm workers, David Emblich, I'd like to ask you for your final comments. Uh, how you felt about Kennedy in 66 as a fierce anti-war activist yourself, and then the Kennedy um, who was assassinated in, on this day 40 years ago. Well, this is a story about change, personal change. Um, um, my own changes, of course, meant that um, I found myself opposed to the war um, and was disappointed in Senator Kennedy at the time when I met him at St. Lawrence University. Um, I was enthused and inspired by Senator McCarthy and his position, and eventually um, made my peace with the fact that the more viable presidential candidate would have been Robert Kennedy, and so we all got on board to try to support his candidacy. I was glad to see him come around, and his change in position, to me, reflected um, the fact that he had changed in many ways. He changed on the civil rights questions as well, and became what I thought, in the end, was a deeply compassionate and committed uh, reformer. So, ultimately, uh, my memory of Robert Kennedy is as a, uh, a man with fantastic potential to have changed this country, and it's, um, to put it mildly, uh, a tragic loss that he never really had that chance. And I carry forward the memory of Robert Kennedy, the potential transformative um, leader, and not necessarily the one who took uh, so many years to get to that position. David Emblidge, I want to thank you for being with us, sharing with us that speech you recorded in 1966, now teaching at Emerson College in Boston. I want to also thank the Pacifica Radio Archive for their remarkable collection. Among those more than 50,000 tapes was the speech that Robert Kennedy gave at the Biltmore Hotel in April of 1968. Finally, we turn to Dolores Huerta, the co-founder of the United Farm Workers of America, along with Cesar Chavez. Robert F. Kennedy was a key political ally of the farm workers, publicly championed their cause. In his final speech moments before he was shot, Robert F. Kennedy acknowledged Dolores Huerta for helping him win the California primary. She joins us now on the phone from California. Welcome to Democracy Now!, Dolores. Hello, Amy. How are you doing? It's very good to be with you. Um, in these last few minutes of this broadcast, your thoughts about Robert Kennedy and what he did um, for the United Farm Workers, how you hooked up. Well, not only farm workers, you know, you think of the people in Appalachia that he visited, uh, but he did in Bedford Stuyvesant in terms of trying to provide uh, low income housing. And those programs are still going on today uh, in the Vox uh, Center down in Los Angeles, and of course. You know, he, he was a man who uh, knew how to reach out to the poor, whether it were the copper miners in Chile or the farm workers that he could identify. He was there with people. Uh, he was uh, not only compassionate, but he was a person that did things. But the other thing is that I think he set a very high standard for politicians because of his integrity and his courage. Uh, he had a lot of courage to confront the authorities, whether it was Lyndon Johnson as president, uh, calling him out on the moor, or the sheriff of Kern County scolding him for arresting farm workers when they were out on their picket lines. So I would like to see his legacy continue to be remembered year after year, uh, just so, especially with politicians. And you know, Amy, he never used consultants. He directed his own political campaign, which is, of course, a far cry from what goes on today. Dolores, uh, we're going to call you on your cell phone because the landline is uh, very bad. Dolores Huerta, co-founder of the United Farm Workers, along with Cesar Chavez, Robert Kennedy is well known um, for his advocacy for farm workers. Um, let's see if we can transition to a clearer line. Dolores, are you with us? Yeah, I am. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm much, here. much better. Um, do you remember when you first met him? Uh, let's see. I first met Bobby Kennedy in 1960 uh, when uh, we were working on a non voter registration drive. Uh, for well, actually, it was during that uh, presidential campaign in 1960 uh, with the community service organization, and uh, we had done an unpartisan voter registration drive, and our drive had been credited to another organization, and so he had uh, corrected that uh, comment that he had made to Time Magazine to give the community service organization. We had registered 140,000 Latino voters in California in an unpartisan drive. 
Uh, so I, that's when I first met him. But then over the years, he uh, did a lot with the Farmers Union. He helped us raise money uh, for a 24-hour clinic. Uh, they didn't have a 24-hour uh, medical facility in Delano where we were organizing. Then, of course, he came uh, uh, to Delano and had a hearing uh, to see why why uh, the farm workers were being arrested, uh, uh, you know, without any cause during our strike in 1965 that we had. Uh, so over the years, you know, in New York City, when we uh, were doing the great boycott, we had 40 farm workers who were arrested at Hunts Point Market. And uh, Kennedy sent his attorneys to get the farm workers out of jail. So, he, you know, he was just there all the time. It was somebody that you could know, that you could, you know, call call him, and he would have his staff and his authority and everything that he had there to support workers. He was just a, an incredible human being. And, of course, being there with Cesar Chavez when Cesar ended his first 25-day uh, uh, water-only fast of foreign nonviolence, uh, he and Cesar were very close uh, Cesar really didn't like politicians very much, but uh, he and Bobby Kennedy really bonded. Well, Dolores Huerta, I want to thank you for being with us and encourage our radio listeners to go to our website to see all the photos we've been showing on our TV show. In the last 10 seconds we have, uh, you've been a fierce supporter of Hillary Clinton. Do you think you will be able to find it in yourself to support Barack Obama? Oh, well, we have to vote for Barack. There's no question of that. But I just hope that he does a lot more to reach out to the Latino community uh, because uh, he's sort of an unknown factor in our community. Dolores Huerta, I want to thank you very much for being with us, co-founder of the United Farm Workers of America, along with Cesar Chavez. And that does it for our broadcast today on this 40th anniversary of the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy. Democracy Now! produced by Mike Berkshire, Hodo Caduce, Aaron Mate, Jeffrey Hagerman, Steve Martinez, Nicole Salazar, Hani Massoud, Robbie Karen, Mike DeFilippo, Miguel Nagara, Peter Curry's our engineers, our website, democracynow.org. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks for joining us.